Hey folks, today I'm out in San Mateo County along the coast in California. Uh, this trip is mostly about knocking off some species that I need for my gear list. A couple snakes might, might be up here, a couple frogs, um, but the weather isn't that great. It's kind of overcast, pretty cloudy, very foggy. Um, we may see some salamanders, but unfortunately all the ones in this area I already have for my ear list, so there's nothing too exciting past that. But whatever the case, we're gonna, you know, do our thing. We're gonna get flipping and and see if there's anything to find here. So stay tuned. What? I don't know. Think he's caught in the grasses? A little bit. He was moving around oh, five there. before. Oh, oh wow. Space. Hi, little guy. Oh, that's really good. It's a really good look. Oh, he's digging a hole. There's a hole right there. Bye, little guy. This is really cool to see. He's in an ant hole. There's so many ants on him. Does he eat ants? I don't think so. Would a crow eat him? Mm -hmm. uh, well, they're opportunistic. I mean, maybe. But the raptors will. This is really cool to see. Do you see all those ants inside? Oh, <gasps> and there he disappears. That was cool. Right, I think that's it. Yeah. Whoa, okay, look at that. That's a nice looking arboreal salamander. Let's zoom in a bit. They are called arboreal salamanders. You can find them, some can find them crawling up things on trees and things like that. Um, this is not a new species for the year, but really cool to see. I do not see these guys very often. Well, I am going to put his log back. Maybe I'll give him a spritz of water. Looks, doesn't look too damp there. And then continue on the way. So. I'm gonna stop the recording so I can get my water out and uh, and we will continue when we find the next thing. All right, I was hoping not to see any of these guys today, but here they are. This is a tick and they love hanging in little pieces of grass and they're just gonna latch onto you when you walk by. And what they do is they crawl up your body and they find a nice spot to dig in and take a bite. And they're going to suck your blood for about a day. Then they're going to fall off, grow into a bigger version, and then do it again. They're going to do this three times in their lives. And the problem with this is they carry a lot of diseases. And there's a lot of potential to get something like Lyme disease. Now, luckily here in the West Coast, we have fence lizards, specifically the Western fence lizard. And they have... Uh, nice appetite for eating these things, but they also carry an enzyme in their body that when they get bit by tick, it prevents the tick from growing certain bacteria that would give us some of these diseases. So hopefully this guy will find a fence lizard and either he'll be eaten or he'll take a bite 
and be a lot safer for all of us humans here. Still no um, New Year species today, but this little fellow here, whoop, let's see if we can get him. Whoa. That little fella is a baby um, Sierra and tree frog. There he is. Don't hop away. Want some video. There you go. A little awkward positioning, but nice. Um, yeah, this, uh, this area here looks like it's got a lot of rocks and maybe used to have some water. So we may find a couple more of these guys. Um, but, uh, yeah, these are, these, nice to see, probably when the, the pond that this guy's near had water in it, that's when all the tadpoles were around. Well, we'll let him hop away and, uh, continue his day. Go, go on. Hop away, fella. I'm gonna put this rock back. There we go. Cool. There's that pond, or the what probably used to be a pond. So we'll see if we see more of these. All right, well, we got some more. Here's a nice brown one again. There he goes. And under this log, or under this rock, let's see what we have. Uh, there we go. Look, we got two more. These guys, you can see um, that one in the back is much greener. Honestly, most of the ones I find... Oh, there's a third. Uh, most of the ones I find are that nice green color. But, you know, they like to stay camouflaged. And so they're going to be, you know, different colors depending on their habitats. Uh, that green might work better in the in the grassy area like up there. Um, but obviously this guy in the mud, this darker color is much better. And it looks like he still has, oops, where'd he go? Somewhere up there. Looks like he still had some of his tail to him. I'm going to put that rock back. There's like another guy. Put that rock back. They'll find their ways back under the rocks. So, yeah. Seems to be quite a lot of them here. Let's see. Any under this one? Nope. How about this rock? Uh, nope. This one feels good. Nothing? Really? Huh. You know, I thought we would find them almost under every rock. Ah, there's another one. You can see, he's still got a tail there. So, pretty, pretty neat to see. These guys hatched, you know, possibly, not hatched, they, they probably left the water, um, you know, maybe a week ago or something, maybe even less. So we'll put his, put his rock back. Sorry, sorry fella. And see, maybe we can find some bigger ones. There's certainly a lot of rocks to flip. None under there. I like this bigger one here. Oh, there's another couple. See one there. Um, I think one scooted away. Oh, there's one right there. Hopefully these guys get back under the rock soon. There's one by my foot. Because I think, uh, some, some worms, nothing too interesting. Because um, I think that uh, those birds up there who are hanging out right in that area when I arrived, I have a feeling that they are looking for a nice meal. So stay camouflaged. You at least have some protection from the birds while I'm here, but we'll see. Uh, I might show you a couple more frogs, but I don't know, that's already like 12 or so. So um, I'll probably wait until I find something new to to share with you. So we'll see, keep looking. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my goodness. This is amazing, check it out. Look, right there, right there. See that snake? That is a San Francisco garter snake. Now I would love to pick it up, but this snake is protected. Um, so I will lift its rock, but I will not be able to touch it. So amazing. Let's take a look. Whoa, just look at that color. And there it goes. Maybe it'll stop for a little bit. 
Now this guy is definitely eating the frogs out here. Just look at him. Such beautiful colors, and I love the orange on the face. Whoa. It is gorgeous. This is a subspecies of the common garter snake. Now I have never seen this subspecies before, so this is a lifer for me. I'm so excited. And really, wow, I had no idea just how beautiful these snakes would look in person. Just, I mean, that contrast on the head is amazing. I kind of wish he'll go back to his spot. I don't want to, you know, kick him out of his area. There, oh, look at that blue. Oh, man. Look at it. Oh, just such beautiful color. What an amazing, gorgeous snake. We are so lucky to find this. Wow. Amazing. Well, well, he's striking at me, but I'm still kind of far away from him. My hope is that, whoa, whoa. You got to do better if you want to hit me. My hope is that he goes back into the rocks in the center here. Because I'd love for him to find another hiding spot. And then I can leave him and he'll be just fine. Um... Just, I mean, you can see the amazing color. Such a cool species. These are one of our brightest colored snakes in North America, possibly the brightest in color. Can we zoom in a little bit? Focus, wow. Look at that. Like I said, I really wish I could pick this snake up and share um, some close details with you, um, but it is a protected species. Uh, they are, so these guys, I'm not sure if they're in, um, critically endangered or just regular endangered, but their diet is highly dependent on the California red-legged frog, which we have not seen today, but they are probably in the area um, and the habitat for the red-legged frog has really decreased. It used to be throughout a good portion of California, and it's really limited just a couple places along the central coast. And so, of course, with the red-legged frog having a limited range, uh, these, these snakes also. And now this is the San Francisco garter snake, but you can't even find it in the city or the county of San Francisco. You have to come down here in San Mateo County. But... Really amazing. This was my target for today. I didn't mention it this morning because I didn't want to jinx that we would not be able to find this guy. And uh, I didn't film all the flipping that I did, but we looked for a long time in a couple different locations before finally finding one. And of course, the place that we find it in is the place that's been covered in ticks. I showed you one clip of it earlier, but I've been picking ticks off uh, about every couple minutes. Um, now, hopefully in this little damper area, it'll be fine. Oh, 
All right, I'm going to stop the recording for a second so I can take uh, some pictures and then uh, I'll do my best to sort of uh, suggest that it goes back into the rocks over there uh, so it can be hidden and safe again. As soon as I switched, uh, it started moving over. So I didn't get really a picture, but okay, duck, duck under, get safe again. Giving it a little bit more distance now. Hopefully it'll feel comfortable finding a place to hide. That rock looks nice. Oh, nope, hopping out. Pick a different one. How about that rock? Nope. There's his head sticking out. Did it find? Wait, what did it do? Did it find a, a place to hide or a snack? I think it might be digging itself. Oop, here it comes out again. Is it licking its lips? Did it just eat something? Wonder if it found. I just ate something. One of those frogs, for certain. Alright, that looks like a good spot for it. <laughs> well, it's not quite hidden, but it is certainly trying to get coiled up. We'll wait for a second. Oh, nope, that didn't work either. <laughs> it's still moving. Alright, let's find. Come on, one of these rocks has got to work for you. I know you're you, you were bigger than the rock you were under before. Alright, head on over there. Yeah, go under there. Nope. Over. Look at that periscoping it's doing. Well, I mean, this snake might be ready to to be on the hunt for some stuff, and maybe he doesn't want to. Um, maybe he doesn't want to go back under a rock, and that's okay. Uh, he's definitely too big for the red winged blackbirds that are nearby, so no worries there. But you know, a raptor could easily pick him off. So. Uh, since he doesn't seem to want to go back under his rocks, I may try to encourage him to at least get into the reeds, uh, where he'll be, have a little bit more cover. So, yeah, I know, I know. All right, go that way. Keep going. All right, there you go. You're a lot harder to see in these reeds. Just look at it. It's, it's kind of cool to watch him move, but. All right, I'm gonna leave you be, because like I said, I'm not allowed to touch you. And maybe we'll keep looking to see if there are any more out here, but really, really cool. Maybe under here. No, nothing. 
Or under here. Nothing. Or under here. Nothing. Can you see the snake? Because I have completely lost him at this point. Which is good. That was the goal. Alright, hopefully he took off. There's a chance he's very close and he's just camouflaged and I don't see him, but what a great sight. I'll let you know if I find something else. Alright, I mentioned that I had been finding ticks on me all day. Well, let's see if it'll focus here. Uh, there is another one. Oh, almost. There, oh. Another one right there waiting on a leaf for me. So I am going to turn around and go a different path because there doesn't look like there's much here anyway. Well, that was really exciting. Definitely worth this little trek out here to see that snake. We missed some of our other targets. We didn't see the uh, California red-legged frogs, for example, but I still think we might be able to see one more species. But for that, we'll have to wait till dark. Check it out. That is a California giant salamander. It's in its aquatic form, so it'll get much bigger. These guys can get up to like 13 inches, although usually when I find them, they're more like eight inches big. Uh, this, this little guy is probably more, only about four, four and a half inches long, but really cool to see them in this aquatic state here. Unfortunately, He's in a bit of water. I do not have boots on, so this is the best view you're gonna get. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. I'm Greg Schechter, this is Schechter Natural History, and I'll see you in the field. Mm -hmm.